Hey guys, uh, one of the things I need to do to get this car ready for some paint on the underside and in the engine bay are uh, welding up some cracks that occurred in the shock towers there, as you can see. Not really sure what would cause that. There's not any other distortion uh, anywhere else on the sheet metal. But I have heard of this happening just from vibration and whatnot. There's none on this one. I wonder if that's been beat up or if that's the factory shape. It appears to be factory, but who knows? <clears throat> my drip pan or my battery tray area is in pretty good shape. There's some pitting here, but it's solid. I'm not worried about it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is probably gonna be a long video over uh, several days as I uh, get these things squared away and I'll take you along with me. Okay, there's a big improvement there. It ain't perfect, but it's pretty smooth. You'll barely notice it once it's painted up. I might throw a little, after I weld it, I might throw a little bit of uh, short strand over that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I'm thinking, here's the other side. I also got to get this all stripped out. There's still underproofing here, so it's my grinder wheel. It's burning up, making a hell of a mess and smell. So, so I'm thinking, obviously, <clears throat> the, uh, the tears here are right longitudinally in line with the upper control arm. It appears that at some point, that upper control arm got tweaked one way or the other. Somebody probably hit a curb with it or something, and it was enough force <coughs> that on this, enough force on, on this shock tower steel that did this, enough to rip this on both sides, I'm thinking. So, no real obvious damage on this car or anything, but, you know, stuff happens, and it looks like something happened at some point in its life. So... Yeah, I'm going to need to do that ironing drop here pretty quick. Anyway, next part of this video will be me welding. Well, got this all welded up. There is one tiny pinhole there, and I am not touching it because the last time I chased the pinhole, the damn thing blew open. Made a three half to three quarter inch wide hole in the freaking thing. 
I swear to God, I'm gonna rename this project. Should have took a lot less time because of my shitty ass welder. Urgh. Frustrating. Yeah, you. That's for you right there, you hear me? Oh. Cool. A little fiberglass on that and call it good. Gah! You have no idea.